And it was, hey, what did the American people think of President Obama's Oval Office speech last night? It lasted 18 minutes. Fox News analyst Frank Luntz is with a group of voters. They're out in California. And he's asking whether, whether the president's speech was a hit or was it indeed a miss? We're talking to 28 voters from Southern California who may decide the next governor, the next senator. But we're talking to them after watching Barack Obama's speech to the American people. Now, I have a theory here in watching your dial reactions, which is that you really aren't giving him a chance. If you voted for him, you love what he said. If you didn't vote for him, you hate what he said. Is that accurate? Yeah, everything's been a crisis to the state. Here we are in crisis, and we're not hearing any solutions 52 days into it. I think the problem with 90% of it was about cap and trade selling a program and about 10% on, on the spill. And that, to me, is reflective of why there's been so little on his part done to the spill. It just felt to me like more of the same. He seems to alternate between the apology tour and the indecision experience. And I didn't hear anything new and I, nothing that made me feel like there was anything of substance going to happen. They really need the jobs down there. And to have a moratorium and then throw on cap and trade, that really made me disappointed. It's, it's almost to me as if you know, he's trying to placate us, and the reality is he has an agenda, which is to pass further legislation to like cap and trade, and that seems to be more important to him than it does to stop the oil from coming ashore. I voted for Obama, and I thought it was an awful speech. He sounded just like George Bush. God bless the fishermen. God bless the fish. Religion is God the last the refuge fish? of a scoundrel, they say. What speech were you watching, ma'am? This one. Go ahead. Remember that scene in Jaws where the mayor says, come on down, folks, and go to the beach, the water's safe? Well, that's what Obama reminded me of the other day when he says the best thing you can do is come on down to the beaches. He's not in touch with what's really going on out there. It's not safe. It's the same kind of analogy. How can he possibly not be in touch with what's going on down there when he just left being down there in the Gulf, hands-on talking to the people? You guys spoke usually like, I mean, through most of the speech he was giving, you spoke and you talked and you didn't even listen to anything that he said. He outlined directly exactly what was going on, what his plans were, and how he wanted to allocate funds for the future. You and my question, him. my question to everyone that didn't like it, what didn't they hear? What would they like to hear him say he wants to do? I don't understand what else he could say. It's been 55 plus days and the oil is still leaking and it's coming on shore and we're turning away help. Let's get it done. I'm, sick, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of having a commission to vote what kind of commission he's going to put out next. I mean, all we're getting is commissions and commissions, and there's no action. There's no results. We need action. We need we need help. We need help from from our from our allies, and they've offered and they've been turned down. Now, I do I do want to make it clear that I don't have to interrupt this conversation. That it is so intense and so passionate that one simple question, and they could take it for hours. But of course, we only have three minutes. Back to you. All right, Frank, a job well done. What about